Hello everybody, this is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com Still out here in the beautiful Catskills Mountains with the magnificent nature that surrounds us all. I have some friends that live in an area that is well populated by Hasidic Jews and they tell me that these Hasidic Jews move into an area, breed, populate themselves, occupy positions on the Board of Education for the public school system and then influence laws for local town and state governments and they say that this is a terrible thing that this is immoral that they do not contribute value to the society that they live in they just reform and change everything to suit their religion and I was reflecting on this idea and I came to the conclusion that I don't think it's immoral that these Hasidic Jews do these things. Because the root of the problem is not the Hasidic Jews. The root of the problem is not those people that vie to sit on the throne of power. The root of the problem is not those mega corporations that survive on the corporate shield on sovereign immunity and through their lobbying armies of lobbyists influence the passage of laws and regulations no they are not the root of the problem the root of the problem is the existence of the state itself is the existence of the throne of power we do not condemn the lioness for hunting and killing the gazelle because it is in their nature. We do not condemn lobbyists and the corporations they work for for trying to buy off a politician or pass a specific law or specific regulation through bribery because it is in their nature. There is no moral way to wield the guns of the state. There is no moral way to use state power. The state is the symbolic representation of the violation of consent. It is by definition a monopoly on violence. It does not require your consent. The root of the problem is that people believe that the state is a necessary institution for civilization. The root of the problem is that people believe that the actions of agents of the state can solve complex societal problems. This is akin to saying if you were to start a chess game with somebody you were to bring a gun or a knife. This is akin to saying if there's a problem with your smartphone a gun will solve it. No. We need much more nuanced, much more delicate and gentle ways of solving our problems. There is no moral way to wield state power. It is the belief in statism, the belief in authority, 
that is the root. I therefore do not condemn the Hasidic Jews for recognizing that if you want to control an area, a population, you must appeal to the local and state governments. If you want to reform the school system, you must occupy the board and reform it through this means. I would not say they are evil. I would say they see an opportunity and they take it. They are opportunists. There is no moral way to describe taxation. Taxation is not voluntary. Taxation is theft. If you would voluntarily support an idea, you would not need to be threatened by the guns of the state to do it. If you would voluntarily support an idea, you would do it voluntarily. You would patronize a business. You would buy their product. You would buy their service. So the problem is never those opportunists who seek out the guns of the state to enhance their own objective. This is known as rent seeking. These are not the problems. These are the symptoms of the problem. They are merely focusing their energies where they believe they can do the most good for their cause. So therefore we must recognize the root of the problem is the initiation of force in all aspects, in all manifestations, from the individual level of basic theft, assault, rape and murder, all the way up to the societal level of the state. It is the violation of consent that is the root problem, that is the bane of humanity. And once we can recognize this, we will be well on our way to realizing a truly thriving and prosperous future. I await that future with bated breath, but in the meantime, I will be singing praises to volunteerism, free markets, and capitalism. I hope you will join me. Thank you very much for listening. This is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com. Enjoy the mountains. Have a magnificent day.